these crescent rolls are squishy soft light and fluffy and they are absolutely delicious with a buttery flavor and on the dinner table they look so beautiful with that golden shine on top we can make it with only seven basic ingredients some flour milk egg and butter and some salt and sugar to enhance the taste and some yeast as a leavening agent and in this simple crescent roll recipe we don't need to wait for double proofing and so you can save a lot of your time and you can make and enjoy these soft and delicious rolls in less than two hours so in this video let's see how to make this a quick and easy crescent rolls in four simple steps <music> As the first step, let's prepare the dough. It's so easy to prepare this crescent roll dough. We are going to add in all our ingredients into a bowl and combine them all together to form the dough. So into this bowl, I'm adding some milk which is not cold nor hot but just slightly warm. Then some sugar, salt, yeast, one egg and now adding butter you can see the butter I'm using is soft and so it will be easy for us to blend them all together stir and try to mix them all together and now I'm adding flour into this we can use either all-purpose flour or bread flour here I'm using all-purpose flour Combine everything together to form a shaggy mass of dough. And make sure there are no dry patches left behind. Transfer this dough onto a clean work surface and we need to knead the dough. We can use either a stand mixer to knead the dough or we can knead the dough by hands. This dough is not a very sticky dough and so you will find it easy to knead but sometimes the consistency of our dough may slightly differ especially if we happen to use a volume or a cup measurements instead of weighing the ingredients or according to the size of the egg that we use or according to the type of flour and that's okay while making a bread we don't need to be very precise on the measurement of ingredients but the point is that we should know the consistency of our final dough so we can add one or two tablespoons of water if you find your dough to be dry or one or two tablespoons of flour if you find your dough to be very sticky after kneading for about three to four minutes see here after kneading the dough for about four minutes though our dough is a soft it's easily tearing and it seems the gluten strands need a slightly more hydration so i'm adding a half a tablespoon of extra water and continue to knead now the gluten strands become more stretchy and lengthy and the dough become more sticky now no problem just continue to knead and you will see all those extra moisture will get absorbed in about a minute or two and our dough will become very soft elastic and smooth And now after kneading for about 8 to 10 minutes our dough is ready and let's cover it and leave it for 5 to 6 minutes. And this is not for proofing the dough but this will give some time for this tensive gluten strands to relax and this will prevent its tendency to rebound back while we roll the dough. So it's been 5 minutes and now let's divide and shape our dough. So dust the work surface and top of our dough with just enough flour 
and now roll out the dough into a circular sheet of a 5 to 6 millimeter thick and approximately 14 inch diameter. And now divide it into 12 equal parts. Take each piece and I placed it with the top side down so that they look more pretty like croissants when rolled and risen and roll it from the wider side to form shape of croissants and place them onto a baking tray lined with the parchment paper. And now all our rolls are ready for proofing. So cover it with a cling film and let them sit and rise for about one hour in a warm environment. And after one hour of proofing, our crescent rolls have risen well. And before taking them into the oven, let's give an egg wash. So here I've taken one egg and lightly beaten it. And now brush the rolls with this egg wash and this will give that beautiful shiny golden color to our rolls when baked. And now they are all ready to go into the oven. So place the baking tray onto a 350 Fahrenheit or 180C preheated oven and bake for around 20 to 22 minutes. And after baking, we'll get those beautiful crescent rolls and the smell of those freshly baked crescent rolls are so amazing. And to make the crest even more softer and to get a more buttery flavor, I'm brushing the top of these rolls with some butter. And these crescent rolls are super soft, so moist light and fluffy and they're really easy to make i hope you found this recipe simple and easy to make and i hope you will make this at home and i'm sure your whole family will love it and if you like this video please give your valuable thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love homemade bread and thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video see you next time